This is Jim Green of JMR Systems. Gibbs Cam Solid Surfacer works with both solid models and surface models. In this case I have a surface model that has some features that we want to avoid machining when I am doing surfacing. In this particular case I'm going to window in on three hole features that I would like to essentially fill and stitch to the solid. I'm going to do this uh, in three different ways. The first way, I'm going to take the top hole which is parallel to my XY plane and I've turned on edges and I'm going to use my extract from solids capability which allows me to extract features from solids. When I extract circles I want to include a tolerance so that I don't end up extracting a B-spline but I extra extract arcs. So by selecting these two features with my control key down, uh, since it's not one feature, it's actually two features, I can come back here and say do it and I've extracted, I'll turn my labels on, control L, and I have circle one, circle two, point one, point two. I will close this off for a minute. Bring back my solid. So what I've got now are real geometry features that will allow me to create a surface that then can be stitched to this model. Again, I will hide the model temporarily and I will select these cir circles by shift dragging over them. Opening the surface modeling panel, I can create a planar surface with those curves. So I click this. Now what happened was I built a planar surface at the XY0. So the next thing I will need to do is just move that surface down. And I'll do that by modify, absolute translate. In my Z position I will use my alt. In my Z position here I'll use my alt on this surface. I'll say do it. So now I've created a surface which was projected to the XY plane and I've used absolute translate to move it down to the plane that it needs to reside on. The final thing I need to do is stitch that in with the rest of the surfaces. I will turn off edge selection for a minute. I'll hide my geometry which is not necessary but just to illustrate this and with my control key down I select the main body surfaces and I open my stitch sheets command on surface modeling and click it. And I'll take the default of looking for thousands of an inch accuracy. We're going to be very accurate in this case. And I ask it to stitch. And Gibbs Cam has now put that stitch right into the surface. You'll see that there still is a, a boundary where that uh, hole had been, but it is stitched in part of the main surface. I'll show the next hole in the next AVI file. Thank you.